You're listening to the Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Convergence, run by our head GM, Scott Hibbard. Hope you enjoy. So back on main deck, rest of the crew comes up there to listen to the captain. Uh, don't worry, I'm here, captain. I'm come counting all my finger fins. <laughs> um, okay. So, out of character, we're going to have the conversation about... we're going to have to confront the guild of phantoms <laughs> yes <laughs> um, that we may or may not encounter certain people in the meantime um, well like taco 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 man taco man the, the, the flater mouse uh yeah something like that you will have to confront a shadow assassin <coughs> yeah possibly and also possibly marigold who knows she was kind of in the wind from your last encounter. Does she too have wings? I mean... In the wind. Is this metaphorical? Who knows at this point? Yeah, people can have since wings. Seen her. There's Yeah, things change. You know. <clears throat> Hard to tell. So, let's see. I take my towel off to break the silence. <laughs> so everybody's waiting for you, Captain. Sorry. Um, just, there's so many, like... Is the ship still humming? Like, is this... Yeah, okay, it's gone. Okay. Yeah, as soon as everybody started, once you reach yeah, the top Yeah, as soon as we've all, like, assembled. Yep. I'm now towelless. And then I take my towel. It's also my cape. And I, I, I figured that was coming. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw it. that coming. I knew it. <laughs> That's great. Classic McClay. <laughs> And then, of course, Azuri's there. And he says, what does Captain? a cape and a towel put together? A cowl. <laughs> the crew is awaiting. You need to have a towel with you at all times. The book says so. And he's getting creepier by the second. Yeah. It's it's your safety towel. It'll protect you. <laughs> Do the safety towel. Yeah. Oh. Bum, 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 ba, ba, da, bum, 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 you were the baby I carrots all along. You can, yes. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, hold he on. was the baby carrots. <laughs> Come in. Hello. Who that there? Oh. Someone else is not. I'm hurt. Hey. You're in need of a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, the, everybody's on the main deck, Wait, and you just you... come up with the rest of the crew. It's like you're dressed. Right? Of course, nobody has well, seen you before. This, uh, I'm There's holding so this. There's so many people around that we hole. haven't seen before. I'll just come up oh, and like, God. all right, where do you want me to set it up? You're carrying your pole. <laughs> Oh damn, <laughs> Adeem, look, he got he got buttons on the side of his pants. What the button on the side of your pants for? Oh, well, that's a, a part of the entertainment. <laughs> yes. Like a show? I mean, this, look. <laughs> I didn't know this was this kind of show. This thing isn't, this thing isn't light, so just tell me where to set it up. I'm sure the, the Kingfisher has a room. You guys are going to have to pay up front. Does it have a mast? Tips are encouraged. <laughs> does the does the kingfisher have a mast? Like, does the kingfisher have a mast? Yeah, yeah. it does. Uh, I don't think oh, right. the pole. I'm just gonna put this right here. You could just put the the pole dance on the mast, right? <laughs> just on the very top, just like you look up. Go up to the crow's nest and just twirling around up there. <laughs> Is this not? I'm sorry. <laughs> Is this not room 203? <laughs> I'm sure the Kingfisher could put whatever numbers on this door she wants. Yeah. <laughs> My apologies. 
and she probably switched the numbers too, just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got here just in time, though. Captain was telling us there's these unstoppable assassins. We're gonna go try and kill them. Well, you guys have fun. You coming? Um. <laughs> you look yeah. big and strapping. That's a heavy pole. You guys are gonna have to. You got a big pole. I mean, you got. What's my Always use a big go. pole, man. I'm not making you go. There's I don't need I have coins know. from a dead universe, so I don't know what yeah. to tell you. I'm sure you don't. I mean, but look at this. <laughs> oh, he's brought guns. Look at this. <laughs> Some big <laughs> guns. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Wait. give him a bag full of coins. Wait, he wants to go? Yes. He can open them up and see that they're all gold coins with a fox emblazed on them. Awesome. Ah. I will open Rarity. myself and give him some <laughs> soft serve. <laughs> there are mock dimes. These will be great for the next time I go to Fallows. Chester E. Cheddars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chester okay. Cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Captain. <laughs> Fine oh, crew you got here. This My is going to be a disaster. By the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't need to talk over you. <laughs> so many, so, so many ways this can go wrong. <laughs> We're all going to die. I'll wait until you're done. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. You can just see Azuri's face, and he's just like. <laughs> I'll be uh, back in a minute, guys. I left the boombox at Belt Club. <laughs> boombox. Well, when the I saw the ad in the commercials, oh, no, it the said looking for that. a band of like misfits. It open, so. taking it apart. My little Tinker Toll is taking <laughs> looking for screws. So. How it works. Hey, man. <laughs> You're just like towering over him at this point. Hi. I'm imagining you're quite tall. <laughs> that thing cost me like fifteen dollars. What's that dollar? <laughs> it's these things. These. Oh, are you showing hands. him the bag of gold coins? It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> not dollars. <laughs> Golden dollars. I've never seen this kind of thing. Wait, are you from Earth? He said dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no That's an earth term. I mean, they can use that term. Specifically, Amer I guess so. For what? It's a strange coincidence. I'm from um, a place. <laughs> oh, I know a place. He's from Typhus. Typhus. Yeah. Not, not he has Typhus, he's from Typhus. I was uh, escaping a uh, scientific uh, research facility that was exploding. Uh, that sounds <laughs> like that Stein fella. I seen seemed him like before. a good reason to um, escape. That's uh, what Zuri says to you as he's slightly confused. I forgot to I forgot to put my seatbelt on, and I was looking over at the water. Fell out, lost consciousness, woke up in this the ship. I'm oh here. I got wait! Here. Is so, there some kind of wormhole going directly to this ship where people just wake up here? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, can um, I? Can I? Uh, wait, the like ship some... has worms. Can I ask the I mean, GM something? Possibly. Is sure. it okay? Well, I've been here for like three months. I've been making if... an honest living. So, <laughs> at some point, <laughs> Charlie Thirteen gets assimilated by the Collective, and then so therefore, like, like uh, the memories. Yeah, Fedora 2 is like, wait a second. I know who you are. <laughs> Charlie 14. Wait, you know Charlie 14? We assimilated party? him like week? ages ago. What? When you were... You look, when we told you you could be on Maha Ray, we said you don't assimilate no, people there. 14. You telling God, me you assimilated so. that poor boy? <laughs> Charlie. No, no. Charlie Fedora 14? 2 assimilated yeah. him before I existed. Well, so that's just you, not right. See, we're all throughout time and space, so like, actually, he's assimilating him right now. See, Charlie Fourteen, the, past, the doctor, right and that guy with the magic stick—they showed up there too, and we said, "Look for two, no, no eating them." Sound. I'm it's quite cross with you cool. right now. I, it wasn't me. It was. Oh, it that was. sounds likely. It was a different version of me. If you can fix it, I'll show you. How anyway, yes, well, I'm sorry. What's wrong with it? Uh, I don't know if I can accept your apology, I but you say you know this man with the snappy pants. It, it, yeah. 
So, yeah. Oshotari, by the way. Okay, I rolled a seven. He answers your question, Captain. Mm-hmm. And he says, I have been investigating that for weeks. And yes, I do believe that your ship has some kind of pole from the other realm. Wait, pole? pole? He brought the pole. Pole. Oh, like pole. A, an anchor point. Correct. Yeah. It's got worms. Now, I mean, this pole kind of. I don't an anchor know point who <laughs> placed it there. I've got a drill. Or if just the ship itself, due to its nature. Wait, the, the pole shipped itself here. It's an intelligent pole. Yes, a pole. Yes, the it pole. is. So, it's a pool. To answer your question, Captain, yes. yes. Well, this, this, is, uh, these anomalies are becoming what is, more. Who, who is this guy? This is this isn't a coincidence. This is just a big game of fates. I feel like I should put out there that scientists are not to be trusted. Agreed. <laughs> they always do dark, demented stuff. There was this one man with a Russian accent, so bad. Science, magic, eh, it's all the same. It evil. I'm going to try and tinker with his boombox. <laughs> sure. Ooh, it's 18. Uh, so 20. Does it do something cool now? It now conducts all the music from the multiverse. What? Before it was in one piece. Well, when you now it it's 11? in more than one piece. <laughs> now it goes to it's 11. A, it's a, like a song <laughs> song. area of effect. Yes, Captain? It turns into a robot that then spawns a panther and a bird. Did Marigold actually give me a way to contact her? <clears throat> no. No. After your uh, fight, um, she actually left. Yeah, she was kind of. Yeah. Boombox yeah. goes boom now. Yeah. She's still very, or was very, yeah. um, it's very upset and frustrated with you. For um, certain decisions her that I made? Well, yes, that and defeating her in combat. Well, you know. Because she was supposed to be superior to you. That's how she was trained. By oh, yeah. the Empire. That also trained me. Yeah. Correct. So I was also trained to defeat her. Not quite as direct. Yeah, they. Th- she thought that what she was taught was more superior to your style, and of course she was bested by you and your allies in combat. Mm-hmm. So she took that very hard. She'll be fine, or she won't. There's that. You haven't heard of anything about her. No exploits of hers. Nothing like that since then. I have a feeling she'll crop up during this misadventure. You don't know if she's even in the same realm anymore. Nope. But since this ship seems to pull people. Yes, exactly. Since people are coincidentally showing up all the Mm -hmm. time. And that's what um, Azuri tells you. He says, Captain, um, if what he says is correct, uh, is this by some random circumstance that the ship is pulling or is it intentionally pulling specific people see i was flying around in a ship with a little dude and then this ship got in the way so we just kind of docked hmm. he's 13 years old he should be around here somewhere ian i don't know where he went the way things have gone i can only assume that this is the work of some god or many gods sun gods or blood gods we should kill one. I don't know. Maybe both. What do you think the common thread for all of us would be? Other than we're here right now at the same time. For all of the, the crew the, members? Yeah, all the all the people who came through the portal, like myself and the stripper and Remy. Wait, has he taken clothes off yet? Do we know he's a stripper? He has a pole. <laughs> he's using knowledge that he has. You know him. <laughs> Yeah, he I, looks smart to me. I though. know him. Like, hold on, here's my uh, card. Just no, no, it. he's he's good. I'm at what looking he does. at it, and it's actually got fine print texted all around it. If you are ever in an accident and need someone yep. to earn your money for you, just indict this clause. Oh wait, what? There's a clause on this card. Dean takes the card. <laughs> I was reading that, girl. 
So what but, what would all our common threads be? Considering <laughs> <laughs> there doesn't seem to be a lot of a I common thread between Lena. all of us in the most typical sense, I would have to assume that the commonality is just... Well, none the, of us are normal people. Well, I don't know. Like, They're living a normal life. This is We're a, trying to kill a blood god. But then the ship got worms. What? Yes. It's they call, just they're eating the holes in the ship. Of a long Why are we all up here? Story of We're going to go hunt down phantoms. And and all being them. chosen and everyone has their own chosen one story, I'm sure. Someone's rooting for you, somebody's waiting to tear you down and whatever that story that's being told is for each of you it's happening now and it's happening here so his story is he like will a, dance the ultimate dance <laughs> yeah. yeah he's gonna strip like he he's will never save the before. multiverse by dancing dance off i did have a very, so it's very deep compelling and intricate backstory that was abandoned almost immediately <laughs> <laughs> It was. I had a choice, and I made that choice. <laughs> In which game? This one? The one where he was the, all of them. introduced? All of all them? All of the games. I just want the crystalline red liquid creature to show up again. Oh, God. But that one? Yeah. He has such amazing powers. If you drink of his essence, he can control you. <laughs> I've heard of that. That sounds like the blood before. god. Yeah. <gasps> is he the, is blood, he the god? blood god? <laughs> How did that happen? The man he... that is a vessel of the red. Is liquid he the that vessel? Is he the liquid? Him? We do not know which. So you said that uh, dude told you where to go, what to do. We go take down these people worshiping the blood god, right? Well, we take down the guild to get information on where the, or, all right, to get information to lead us to a thing and a person and a place. I'm that in, will ultimately lead and I have already that. bought his services. All right. So technically, he has to dance wherever I am. Is your dancing a useful skill, or a it will distract everyone? Maybe. I am shooting with arrows. <laughs> When shooting arrows, always bring a tall man that dances with breakaway pants. <laughs> Write that down. You're going to need to know that later. I thought he was never going to dance again. I'm wondering how high his initiative is. Pretty so, like, when battle starts, does it just go It's a really tall, like, he's, like, 6'8", blonde, strapping. I think you gave him brown He's a bard. <laughs> he's the bard. He's a bard. He's a bard. He's an entertainer bard. Yes. <laughs> Best bard ever. <laughs> and he can give you guys inspiration. There's Literally dancing. thinking, if you're shooting people, though, having a really tall guy dancing with a strobe light is not a bad idea. <laughs> well, if he rolls like a net one, we all get very distracted. <laughs> he just throws up a prismatic yeah, spear and just floats up there and just... I mean, just watch, watch this. <laughs> 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 I mean, guys, come on. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> he is my distraction. Okay. I feel like if he's dancing and he gets a good roll, that gives everybody so, advantage. <laughs> Azuri, and he looks at you, Captain, and he says, Captain, where is our heading? What do we know about the actual... If we Like, we know what world they're on. Yes. Do we have connections on that world that can... Or leads on that world that can help us get where we're going. Unfortunately, we do not. The only connection we have to that world is the guild. And our previous encounter was more or less a stalemate. Well, potentially... We should get it fresh. Potentially, Shiga will find us. And then we can go back. That is assuming that he's hunting us. Our... Visitor is no longer here. He's gone back to his corner to hide in. 
Well, I mean, he might not know that, though. He might just know that his prey was here, and he might come looking for him. As as we've established, this is somewhat of an anchor point. And then he looks at he says, Hmm. <laughs> He's seen a smile, he says, We could bait him. Hmm. But do we really want him to come here? Uh, well, I mean, I don't want to fight him. And I don't really want to kill him. He wasn't ever my enemy. Really. Except for that one time. You got well, Oshotari, he, he perks up and he says, That gives me an idea. If this ship has the ability to pull people from different realms, we may be able to actually tap into this ship's ability and target a specific person. And pull them to the ship. You wouldn't have to wait. I don't know how much the ship would enjoy that very much. I don't know if it could be a painful process. I think for the sake of my ship, I would rather wait. What kind of magic ship do you have? It's alive. It's a living how ship. How does it know where anyone is in time and space to select them. I didn't know who I was. Maybe you should ask him. Hey. That is the mystery. <laughs> can I interface with the ship with my tendrils? Well, the the ship uh, speaks in groans. What? <laughs> yes. I'm okay. going to sit down, you could crisscross ask her, applesauce, and respond. start meditating and see if I can commune with the ship. I will I also try and commune of? with the ship in my own way. Oh, what are you using to commune? Just... Uh, insight? Insight, sure. Everyone good. can commune with the ship if you choose. I mean, I'm gonna try can't and heart. Special. Yeah. I only like speak in moans. <laughs> that 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 work make friends. Out. Unless so. you can convince me <laughs> that you can do this without hurting my ship. Uh, yes, well, you know, as Oshitari is a scientist, he says, I cannot guarantee that. 13. 13? Right. Um, the ship. Yeah, you, you basically received the same um, response, the, the kind of groans as you're trying to um, interface with the ship and communicate. So it doesn't seem like the ship is using any kind of actual uh, language, so to speak. It's unintelligible. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I, I'm just going to want to try and interface with it. This might explode its head, though. They're not similar to the ship. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Do I see him doing this? Look, yes. Look at me. I'm the ship now. <laughs> okay. So I've rolled an 18. Oh, God. I'm the <laughs> ship now. <laughs> like, uh, I haven't seen Farscape in a really long time, but, like, there's the living ship and then the, the pilot who has to, like, Yeah, just like Lex. Uh, yeah, that's what yeah. I was What were you doing again? Like, I was gonna, like, kind of like the precursor to simulation, but I wasn't gonna do it. I was just gonna use my tendrils and like try and like communicate with the ship that way okay direct interface as you do that yeah. you do get some kind of communication but not much that makes sense because you get images that flash across your mind oh getting images oh and they're not memories of yours they're not you have memories no of idea. mine uh, and <laughs> And that's it. That's it. You just see this flashes of images come across before you what break are the off the uh, of? contact. I'm what are the images of? What are they of? <laughs> what do they mean? What do they mean? The numbers. How do I know their images they if, if I don't know what they're of? You're seeing like um, from what you can actually you know different realms because it's actually showing you images from different realms that you oh, have experienced. Okay. Yes, there's realms. Different ones. But these aren't your actual but memories. Not, so it's not, not like memories. it's pulling your memories and showing you. Yeah. It's actually showing you images from other realms that you have visited before. That you recognize. I sense realms. This this uh, ship is aware of multiple realms. The ship. She's well traveled. Somehow this ship is basically connected to the realms. Like 
uh, it has like a connection to all the realms, basically, mm -hmm. which might explain why it's able to. So wait, this be a nexus shift. point? Um, I'm yeah. asking the scientist looking dude. Yeah. Osho Tari. Yeah. He says, well, you could call it that. I mean, the ship itself is an anchor. Okay, then I'm going to call it that. It's a nexus point. Mm -hmm. He gave mm -hmm. me permission. Which also leads me to believe that if we attempted to leave the ship, we'll we just, just be back on the ship. Get back in. It's very possible. We have not attempted that yet, but my running theory is. Wait, didn't we leave the we ship earlier? The ship. But we weren't gone very long. It's not like we can't step off the ship. It's so just you're talking about breaking up with the ship. the ship. If we the broke up with the back. ship and told the ship we found another <laughs> ship, the ship would call us back? If this ship drew us here, if we had the ability to go to another realm by ourselves on our own without the need of the ship, you know, the ship would the ship could have potentially bring us back. Potentially. But angry because we left. Could the ship bring inanimate objects as well as like people? That uh, hasn't well been tested. Because I, yet. I would really like a fur coat. Don't let the ship catch <laughs> you. I'm There's much we do not know about this ship that was given to us. I'm still interface, so I'm sending an image of a fur coat. I'm gonna oh, uh, talk to. Oshitari it speaks more in about images. So what actually what he I'm has in mind for images. getting this thing to work? Because mm -hmm. if I don't want him to hurt the ship. But if it's something painful that I can do, I can take the hit. Wait, are we not flying yet? No. No. Captain We're trying to see it. if the thing can come here or the person can come here. The other question is, do you... If so you the do, ship doesn't actually travel. The ship just makes things travel to it? Well, it does travel, it does but that's travel. not what we're trying to do right this second. What they're trying to do, basically what Oshitari is uh, trying Oshitari. to accomplish is... Tap into the ship's ability to pull people from different realms. And just bring the boss here. Bring a specific target to the ship. And then everybody that's on the ship right now, which is like a huge assortment of misfits, just like jumps the guy. <laughs> if that was the goal, which yes. we have not established that that's the goal. But or that's even the person. The problem is Oshitari is not completely confident that the ship will not become harmed by the process or become hostile from the process that is true as well i mean if you hurt the ship enough it might hurt us back we may have a few missing crew members Poor Sheldon. <clears throat> wait the ship ate the turtle no no but you know at least that's what they tell us <laughs> I mean, I think the crew members technically ate some of Sheldon's beard, though, but that was consensual, so. Is that what happened to your face? The ship ate you? Mm. Seaweed. <laughs> the seaweed beard. Seaweed happened to your face. Oh. Uh, so, yes, he, he, it's a very complicated process, but he believes he can achieve it. But, again, I mean, he'll go get his plans and bring them to your cabin so he can show you, but it's... Experimental. I'd like to uh, accompany mm -hmm. to help. I would like to vote no on this plan as a person who has been um, in a confined space in the middle of the ocean with a bad guy. <laughs> I agree with him. The whole place exploded. Scientists, right? Can't trust them. Can't trust them. Crazy like a cool y'all. But they did give me some... Never mind. I'll tell you later. <laughs> I look forward to it. They gave you them experimental pants with the snaps. Oh, these are no longer experimental, <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> so you're going to wait to <laughs> make a decision so you get more information I'm from? Going to, yeah, I'm probably just going to wait. Well, I'm going to take certain people off to a room to actually have a conversation about the process. All right. So, who are you taking? You want me to go? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring the scientists a, a, a aside to actually talk to them about how that would work. And then we can make a decision on if that's something that we should do. Um, All right. So, you got Oshortari. 
Got this one. Um, Faust. As already coming too because because he's your first mate. Yeah, that makes sense. What about the one who actually was able to somewhat communicate with the ship? Yeah, he can too. Okay. Anyone else? I can communicate with the ship. Did you just you say that? Uh, yeah. I'm going to take the tall guy and her and anybody else who's in for like finding stuff and see if we can leave the ship and test the theory of it coming back. Yeah. Do it. We're going to go steal stuff. Oh, I mean, finding stuff. Sounds find great. stuff. Hey, anybody want to go find stuff? Wait, what am I doing? Molly's Tattoos. Am I with the ship? Let's go <laughs> find some science. more bags of shiny stuff. Come yes. on. I've already seen you. You have to dance ship? wherever I'm You still have your tattoo? Yeah, I have two tattoos. Come on, girl. Yeah, the rest of ours got incinerated. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I got I got my tattoo, and then I got a tattoo. She gave me her tattoo because she didn't like tattoos. You haven't applied it yet, though, have you? No. So, Should I apply it? Temporary yeah. tattoos? <laughs> Do you guys want a tattoo? Kinda, I got kinda. a tattoo. No, I'm good. I don't need no... We're, gonna, we're <laughs> jumping off the ship now. It's a magic tattoo. I've got a tattoo right here. I'm all over back. It's a it's a half man <laughs> half <laughs> mackerel. That's <laughs> juicy. All right. <laughs> so, um, all right. So Osho Tari brings his schematics and such. Uh, Foss is following him. Make sure and to then, get my of course, Fedora too uh, what, follows him as well. What do I do? Captain's quarters. Mm-hmm. All right. And so he lays out all the diagrams and everything. And so he explains it to you. He says, "I have been studying this ship." It produces in a field much like the other ships that we do that I developed. But it develops and produces this field naturally. Well, it requires the crystals, much like the other ships that we have made, except that it's completely organic. So we do not need to have a cradle that houses the power crystal. Instead, the ship itself produces the power from consuming the crystal. We have seen this already. And this field it generates not only protects us while we're traveling from lack of air Mm -hmm. or even while we're traveling in the water. Lack of gravity, you just float off in space. Exactly. This field, I believe, also is responsible as a pull from the multiverse. And he goes and he says, think of it as you have a planet, this world that we're on. And you have these tiny little objects that are drawn into it by its pull. That can't leave it because it's too strong. Mm -hmm. I believe this ship is just like that. It has this type of multiversal pull that certain objects or people uh, can be drawn into it and um, can't escape unless it wills it. And how are you thinking you're going to manipulate that? Well, I have this device. Mm-hmm. It delivers electrical shock to stimulate, hopefully, the specific part of the ship that generates the field. Mm-hmm. And if we can link with it, as he looks over at Fedora 2, and then have the person who's linked to it specifically focus on this target. We may be able to direct those energies directly at the target. We need to stimulate the ship. Okay. Can we do that with a dance party? <laughs> <laughs> Does it have to be painful electric shocks, or can it be (laughs) excitement, or enthusiasm, or just a really good flex? (laughs) Well, how do you know what motivates the ship? We have to call with it. Call like well, like I mean, usually it's I would assume like it's instinctual. Like a ship like this would have evolved to be able to do this. For survival reasons. So what about bringing us to it helps the ship? Why would the ship bring us to it? And then if we can like find out what that quality is, maybe we can like imprint that 
the person that the target we want has that quality mm. or maybe not depending on how any of this works because i have no idea you know. this is all experimental <laughs> like is this a ship so i don't know anything about it is this a ship mm -hmm. that is natural or was it mm -hmm. engineered it was engineered so it's it's developed these abilities through necessity of survival <laughs> over millennia and actually yes he agrees with you and he says, yes, my theory is that it, its ability to traverse the multiverse is a defense mechanism. When it is in trouble, when it is injured badly, it essentially flees. Except in this case, instead of just flying away or moving away from wherever is targeting it, it completely jumps into another realm. Why hmm. does it need us? Are we, what, what universe are you from? This one? Not from Primordius. No. No. From Exordia? From well, no, not even from there because that was occupied. <laughs> oh, yeah. Originally not even from Exordia, but nope. that was the first campaign she was in. Yes. Okay. Where are you from, Mr. Elf? I'm from here. You're from here. Mm -hmm. I know the stripper is not from here. Well, we're not here. Yeah. You're not a stripper. Well, we left, <laughs> we left the ship. <laughs> Yeah. You're just, just in a room with two scientists and I'm just thinking, three like, scientists actually. The stripper's not from here. Sorry. The other one said he was from Velosia. It's where he brought you it's from. Balanced. You should know the name of it. Yeah, my circuits are fried. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't shouldn't boil yourself in water. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> take a hot bath or a hot yeah. bowl of rice. Right? Yeah, I got to go. Uh, some, what's the rice. opposite of overclocking? Uh, overheating? Oh no, no, that's a underclocking. Uh, no, I was definitely like uh, pause. Too hot. Yeah. Up all these but like, uh, I don't know. We're, it rare. seems like we're from different <laughs> different realms um, for the most part. And perhaps that's why, like, it needs energy from different realms. And it could just be that it was a random occurrence that it was us. That there was no rhyme or reason other than that we are from uh, a realm that it needed us to be from. This is all speculation. Yeah. Well, maybe <laughs> well, a group of juvenile gods have decided to play their avatars. Well... Chosen them at random. Um, if the gods are manipulating the ship to bring us together, then we're all just pawns and none of this matters. That's so, been so my well, worldview from day one. Well so Zuri actually game. pops up with that and he says, I'm glad you mentioned that. He says, You know, I'm a god. Ship, did I tell you guys? We did receive it as a gift. From the gods? Of this realm, yes. It w was actually their ship's millennia ago before they were lost why would they give you a ship for nothing didn't say it was for nothing or at it all came really. for the price why would God do anything for anyone if it doesn't serve him I know gods and they only serve themselves yes so if they do something for you, it's in service of themselves. So how does it serve them for you to have this ship? Asking some real questions here. <laughs> Which explains why you're even here in Primordius to begin with. Yeah. You were sent here. Yeah. To look for this specific yeah. location. Fast ship, old man. Have you never heard of the Millennium Falcon? A moment of what? Falcon. Aluminium? Aluminium what? Gosh. It's the aluminium. So, Falcon. anyways, uh, Oshitari, he tells you, he says, this is experimental. It could work or it could cause a ship to eat us. It's very possible, too. Any of it is. It is sentient. It has shown its dislike in certain endeavors, such as piloting it into open combat. It would get in trouble if it ate us. So we will try not to. Well, I'm, 
I just want to communicate the ship real quick. I would like to talk to her. Roll. Just see if you get anywhere with it. Right. <laughs> what am I rolling? What do you have? Nothing useful. <laughs> yeah, it's a D twenty. Okay. <laughs> I have willpower. I think I don't think, I don't any of this think is willpower is going to help with that. Yeah. I have physique. I can evade emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional evasion. Emotional evasion. Yeah. I have no favor, and I rolled a three. <laughs> no, no. I don't think she's talking to me. <laughs> no. Silent treatment. Well, I am discussing her torture, essentially. So there's that. That is true. Okay. Hmm. Well, he kind of helps. Um, Oshotari kind of helps with the understanding of the process. He goes, yes, we deliver an electrical shock, but to put it in comparison to us, it's as if you went and touched, you know, one of my equipment that generates electricity. It's a quick little shock. Sends it straight through your fingers and through your arm. Numbs it maybe for a moment. And then you're back to normal. It's not as if you're hit by a lightning bolt. That would be too much. Send you back yeah. in time. Or if you're going 88 miles per hour. I think both has to have to happen at the same time. But again, This is all theoretical. Yes, it could do nothing. And we're back at square one. He sounds like he's quite mad. Does anyone on board the ship have the power to heal the ship? If the ship if I the have ship is powers of healing. Um, I there, have healing hands. He, tells you, he says, oh, yes, him as well. Divine they power. They both have divine abilities to heal organic objects. I will feed this ship my own blood if it gets us where we're going. I just don't want it to hurt my ship. Well, you know, if the ship needs some healing. <laughs> Sensual. He says, well, we could uh, alter the device slightly. Mm -hmm. You could... How do you say it? Um, be the buffer. Hmm. Go on. We could have you connect to the ship, much like the fashion that Fedora did. Mm. Yes, but I must assimilate you in order to do That's it. That's a no. <laughs> <laughs> I was Fedora. lying anyway. I don't you have could to. bond with the ship. Temporarily, and then we could deliver an electrical shock through you using you as a buffer. I have elemental resistance. Interesting. Yes. Yes. Anyway. But you got to be careful not to buffer too much, otherwise, it won't deliver enough of it to actually cause what we're wanting to cause. Mm -hmm. Can I just roll to shock the ship right now? <gasps> you have the power to do that? I'm connected to it through tendrils. But do you even know where you're supposed to? Shoot? No, I'm just gonna get. No, you're just gonna, just, you're just gonna, gonna piss it, it off. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Let's not do that. That's that so sounds like a sad idea. Hey, also. Hey, yeah, so, anyways, he he delivers that. He says this is an alternative, although I haven't had enough time to actually determine whether it success rate would be high enough to even attempt. But if that's what you want to do, Captain. If I die, I die. Let's go. I don't think the gods are going to let me die yeah. at this point until I've achieved something oh, that yes. they want to Oh, yes. It's do. like in Lost. Yeah, you true. couldn't die because you hadn't finished the Out thing. Out of character, I absolutely prepared for the fact that my character could die. But in <laughs> character, Ari probably doesn't think that she would die. Right. So so then he agrees. He you says, have an unfulfilled destiny. Faust, you if you would die. assist me, we'll get the device ready. And Captain, we'll need you on the main deck. Uh... We'll need you close to the mast. All right, do you need me? Yes, we'll need you as well, Dang. Fedora. All right. Let's go. I was going to go get back in the tub. So, some. you guys all prepare to do that. So, are we doing a direct summoning at the moment? That's what your attempt is, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, um, before we do that, before we summon anybody, mm -hmm. I'm going to need people to not instantly kill whoever we summon. <laughs> oh, can we summon like a first Just make that clear to make everybody. Make that clear, everybody. We're trying to do a thing. Can we summon a 4 2? That's experimentation later. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Convergence. If you did, be sure to head on over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out some of our other cool games. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. I hope you have a fantastic week, and until next time, this is Laura Hibbard with Saturday Night Gaming signing off.